In Cox City is Sumter. That's where community leaders are working to allocate federal funding. Sumter gets money from the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development, which helps to develop low to moderate income neighborhoods. News 19 Sam Perez tells us more. I just had a new roof put on my house not long ago, and it's fairly expensive. Lloyd Godine is a lifetime Sumter resident who knows how important it is to have a solid roof over your head. I mean, it's important because, I mean, you don't want to have leaks and everything in the house, and then that leads to, like, mold, which causes other health problems and everything. The city of Sumter is hoping to serve residents by using grant money to put toward roof repairs. I could never get enough funds for the needs we actually have in low-income areas. Development Director Clarence Gaines works with the city every year to allocate federal funding from the Community Entitlement Block Grant. Gaines tells me last year the city got $350,000. This year, he's hoping for even more. The more we get, the more we can do. Right now, Gaines says 73% of the funding will go towards housing repairs in low to moderate income communities. 16% will go to youth employment opportunities, 9% will go to Sumter United Way, and the rest will go to the YMCA and the HYPE program, which is run by Director Barney Gadsden. Our main focus now coming out of COVID is making sure that our children are reading uh, on grade level, and making sure they're understanding basic math facts. I think it's amazing because it's helped me too, especially my teachers. Like, they, like when I need help with it, they'll help me. And like the stuff that I don't know, they'll teach me. The program serves children like Charlotte Williams after school and provides them with a hot meal. If we can help one child and we can change that child's trajectory, we can change a whole generation. And with the funding from the grant, Gadsden says the program continues during the summer. For Street Squad Sumter, Sam Perez, News 19, WLTX. And Gaines telling us they will likely find out how much money will be allocated to Sumter within the next month or so.